Hello, cat people! How are you today? I am Cat Lady Antigoni, and today we are doing a Mr. Makeup! I will try to upload this video before Easter. Easter is coming, that's why I decided to go with an Easter body paint today. And if you're ready for this, for some bunnies, for some eggs, some cute stuff, let's go! As always, I'm gonna start by doing the lines with a very, very old pencil of mine. I'm gonna create the eggs here first and then I will go to the face to create the bunny. Oops, this was a spoiler. But as you know, the idea is to finish with the body first and then going to the face because I have a tendency to become kinda greasy and I want to avoid this. But if you don't know that, that means that you're new here. So hello, my name is Antigoni. I love doing makeup. I I would love to have you here at our company so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell and now without any further talking i'm gonna grab this pencil right here and i'm gonna start with the eggs a lot of progress have been made here but don't worry because i'm about to start explaining step by step what i have done first of all let's start with the cute 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 bow actually this color the pink, the pastel pink that I have used doesn't originally belong to the Mehron palette right here that I'm using. I made it by myself and if you haven't seen this video where I'm making it on camera, let me tell you very very shortly what I have done. So basically this pastel pink um, contains like 70% white and 30% red. So this is the combination, that's why it's very mild as a color. And I feel that for Easter vibes and you know the cute bow, it's just perfect so i use this and i set it up with weight of james charles palette and this pastel pink from the palette in order to make sure that i don't have like empty spots or something like that and then i'm gonna take this pink which is kind of darker and with this pink i'm gonna create all the shadows which i haven't done yet but if you're ready to see it let's go In order to finish with the lighting and the shading of my bow, I used as well from NYX Professional Makeup the Epic Ink Eyeliner in the black shade. Don't be confused from the packaging. This is the collaboration that NYX had with La Casa de Papel. That's why it's golden. It was limited edition. I don't think that you can find it anymore. It was very good. Like it was the classic, very, very good quality of Epic Ink Eyeliner. Anyway, then after that, I took my white from Julian Spiegel and I just underlined the places that I have shaded with this shadow right here from James Charles. Now, what I'm gonna do is to take again my palette from Meron and this time I'm gonna take this brown which actually belongs to the palette and I'm gonna do the basket, this area here which also belongs to the basket and the holder and after that i'm gonna explain you with with which shadows i'm gonna play from again james charles palette in order to make them different so let's start with the basic and then we will find it together and this is it with the dark brown. Now, for the bigger part of the basket, I'm gonna use a combination of these two colors from my James Charles palette. So here we have a bricky orange, and here we have a banana, I would say, powder. Don't look at the color right now because I mixed them, that's why we have this. But if I mix these two and apply them on the brown, we will have this result, which is quite impressive, right? So let's do it and let's see what's gonna happen. With my white body paint, this one right here, I'm gonna add some light right here and then I'm gonna go with this color which is a cool toned brown and I will go to the holder in order to make it kind of cooler but not lighter necessarily. And then with something quite darker like this one right here i'm gonna do i don't know how is it called but this part of the basket which is gonna be kind of the outside part the part which is doing this movement anyway i don't know if you understood you will see everything right now 
ready to do some eggs together. So in order to create my non-easter eggs yet but soon to become easter, I started by using Yulen Spiegel. Oops! <laughs> okay, we had an accident but everything is fine. And they're white, it's called Vice, you know that by now. And then I took a tiny tiny brush like this one to make sure that I would be very very precise. And after I did the line around it with this pencil right here, this is a liquid eyeliner from Colourpop. It's called Graceland. It's a very nice white one. It's not as intense as the Epic Wear from NYX Professional Makeup, but for eggs it's very very good. So I'm gonna do the line and then I'm gonna fill with the white. Now I'm gonna take the Pastels palette from Beauty Bay, a favorite of mine I would say, and then I will start by Cloud Free and I will draw the first egg and then I will continue with Daydream to color the second egg. Now for the other two eggs, I'm gonna continue again with the same palettes and the shade Euphoria, which is a very nice cool toned pink and I feel that this is gonna match the purple perfectly. And then I'm gonna do the last egg with the first light, a very nice vibrant yellow. Now when it comes to this one, I'm gonna leave it as a surprise for you. For my last egg, which is the biggest as well, I want something blue. Is it actually a surprise for you? I don't think so. So I'm gonna take this palette right here. This is from With Love Cosmetics, a UK indie brand. And from this palette, I'm gonna choose this first shade. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a name, so I cannot reference by name to it, but it's gonna be this one and I'm gonna color it. Back to the basket now and I'm gonna show you how I created this pattern right here. So I took this liquid liner from Colourpop and it's in the shade Grande. Ooh, nice name, right? So first of all, I started by three horizontal lines, then I followed with three vertical and again horizontal. Then for the next line, I did the opposite, so I started with the vertical, then horizontal, and then vertical again. I hope you understood, but if you don't, I'm gonna show it to you right away. Now, with my liquid liner from Colourpop, I'm gonna create all the lights on eggs. Time to create some little drawings on the eggs. So, for this step, I decided to choose this palette right here. This is from Beauty Bay, the liner palette. This is basically aqua activated eyeliners. And I'm gonna start with this one right here. This is called Pixie. And how do I know that? It says so right here. And I'm gonna go with this. Can you guess where? On the purple egg. And I'm gonna create some tiny designs on it. Time to decorate the pink egg. Now, this time, instead of drawing something, I'm gonna go with a fixed potion from Carla Cosmetics. This works like a glitter glue, and for glitter, I'm gonna use these tiny stars right here. These are from Glitter Palace. Unfortunately, they do not have a name. But anyway, without any further talking, let's start gluing. Now I'm gonna do exactly the same procedure for my blue egg, but instead of gluing tiny stars, I have some lightnings here. These are from Essence and I'm gonna just do the same. For the last egg, I decided to go with nice white big dots. And for this reason, I'm gonna take the color of liquid eyeliner that I'm using today, Grande. No, 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 it's not Grande, it's Graceland. So I will go with Graceland and I will create the dots. Okay, the body paint part has now finished and I'm removing my glasses in order to start with my face and specifically my eyebrows. So for my eyebrows today, I decided to go green because the eye look will be kinda green. And for this reason, I'm gonna use my James Charles palette, this green right here and maybe this one right here, but not only this palette. On my hands, I'm also having this gem right here. This is the collaboration that Angelica Nickvist had with Udensai, a Swedish indie brand. Oh my god, I love Udensai so much. And from this palette, I'm gonna take this shadow right here. It's called Urovoros, and I'm planning to use it at my outer part, while at my inner part of my eyebrow, I'm gonna use the light one. 
for the eye look I decided to go with greens and pinks because I feel that these colors are fitting perfectly to the Easter theme and the spring which is coming. So I'm just continuing with this palette right here, Hella, and I'm gonna go with the pinks of course. So I'm gonna use a combination of Hella and then Goddess in order to create this color right here at my crease and then I will go with my greens. Did I mention that for primer I have used this one right here, this is Primer Potion from Urban Decay, as always. Now, let's go to the greens and yellows. So for yellow I used this one right here, Fluorescence, and let me tell you, when you see it on the palette it's very beautiful, but when you see it on the eye it's grey. So after Fluorescence I went with Venom right here, and for the outer part of my eye I used this one, this is an excellent from it's called river and it has like a purplish to green shift it's great so let's see them on action I'm gonna finish the top part of my eye by using a combination basically for the inner corner I'm gonna go with hellfire and for under the eyebrow area I'm gonna go with double sided which is another amazing duochrome if you have seen the favorite product of the month for March if I'm not mistaken I have a specific clip about this one it's stunning I love it so much so I feel that these two as a combination will be what I want exactly right now. For the bottom part of my eye I'm gonna take this pencil right here this is from Glam Shop and it's in the name Seaberry it's a very very nice yellow and to me it's so unique because I didn't have any other yellow pencil before I'm gonna put it at the waterline and a little bit outside and then I'm gonna take again the shade river this one right here and I'm gonna set a little bit the area in order to have glitter at the bottom part of my eye as well Ta -da! as you can see the face is done but of course off camera because I don't want to become boring because I'm using the same products again and again I really believe that I need to finish a product like especially a base product before I go to the next one so I'm gonna mention everything very very quickly in case if you're curious or something like that so mix professional makeup the marshmallow primer Laura Mercier and Tinti Moisturizer, Lumene, the Matte Oil Control, Charlotte Tilbury, Flawless Filter, Glossier, Play, Fenty, How Many Cards, Cosas Cosmetics, Colourpop Chic Do, Hourglass, Veil. But if you think that I have finished, no, you're mistaken, because I have a surprise for you. Actually, I thought to create a tiny bunny right here because I think it's super cute and to me it brings a lot of Easter vibes, so why not? So the idea now is to take from NYX Professional Makeup the Epic Ink Eyeliner and create the basic design of the bunny and then I will add all the colors. So bear with me because now we are about to have some fun. Now from my James Charles palette I'm gonna take this shadow right here, it's called Skip and with this bright pink I'm gonna do the inside the ears and the nose of my little cute bunny. My bunny is here and now it's time for the Greek word of the day. Today I decided to tell you the word for basket and in Greek we say kalathi. Say with me, ka la -thi. Kalathi. As always, I'm gonna ask you to try to write a comment down below using the word Kalathi. Also, another info here, I have done last year one Easter makeup, but unfortunately it's not here on YouTube, but you can always find it on my Instagram page. My Instagram is catladyandigoni, you can go down here, you can visit me there, and maybe you can tell me which one was better. Time for the leaves! So today I decided first of all to go with this lip pencil right here. This is from a Colourpop Duo, this one, Malibu Sunset, and basically this is the collaboration that they have done with Barbie. I'm not sure if you can find the pencil only, like without the lipstick. And then I was between three liquid 
lipsticks. From NYX the liquid shred, from Golden Rose Kiss Proof, from NYX the candy slick. I think that for today's makeup this one, the Golden Rose one, is the best. I don't know if I will be able to do it kind of perfectly because it's about to finish so I'm not sure. But let's try! This was our video for today. I hope that you have a good time watching me turning myself into an Easter themed something. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed the Easter makeup which was quite different from what we are usually do. Thank you so so much for being here with me today. See you next time with what? I'm not gonna tell you. You will find out. But till then, bye bye!